Hello, everyone. This is Andre Battles, your friend and fellow sinner, saved by grace and clothed in Christ's righteousness. And here I am again today with you, sharing with you a bit of inspiration. Let me, in fact, grab my I Battle Daily Ministries hat because I'm quite serious about what I do. And I want someone to pay very strict attention to this message that I'm about to share with you. What I want you to know is this. Be a unicorn. Let others master being a horse. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what am I saying? Where am I coming from? I am naturally different. Just as you are naturally different from others around you. I want to inspire you right now. I want you to know and understand that you have a skill set you have a blessing, you have a opportunity in your very grasp within your talents and gifts that God has enabled you to have so that you can use your unique gift to bless others. Too often I find that amongst Christian people, we turn up our noses when people are attempting to do things different from what we are used to. For example, I am a Facebook minister. Now, somebody's already booing me, and someone's probably already thinking, <laughs> Facebook minister, what you mean? Well, the last time that I checked, the church is not a building. The last time that I checked, the church consists of people. The building where we go and fellowship weekend and week out, where we go on Wednesday nights, where we go during the weekend and have our services, that is just a building. But the church is the people. What is Facebook? What is social media? It's a building that is surrounded or that consists of people. So wherever there are people, there's opportunity for ministry. In this way, I consider myself a unicorn. In this way, I consider myself different or special. In fact, I consider myself a hustler. And what I mean by that simply is that when I was in the world doing my thing before I lost my leg, while I was out there snorting cocaine and smoking crack and chasing tail and doing all of those things, I was dedicated to my craft. And my craft was basically doing whatever that felt good or that was suggested to my conscience that may have seemed like it would benefit me physically or emotionally. Now, as a hustler for Christ, I'm producing and pushing out ministry material like the drug dealer on the street, meaning that I am pushing, I am going, I'm throwing out my reel, I'm hoping to cast my net to bring in souls for Christ. And I'm doing it in a way that I hope would be substantial enough to grab someone's attention. You see, I'm a unicorn. I'm not just one that is defined by the norm that I have to do this in this way, or I have to execute in this manner in order to be successful. In fact, the most successful people in this world are unicorns. People who decided that they ain't gonna just do things the way that others do it, just because others did it and found success. You may think that when I share my cash app with you in posts that I do only on Saturdays if you've paid any attention is the only time that I do that. You may think that when I do this, that I'm hustling perhaps in the wrong way. You may think that when you see me uh, posting status updates all day, sharing Facebook lives all day on social media, you may think, well, what's wrong with this fella? Is he looking for attention? You may think that perhaps something's wrong with this fella because he's always testifying and sharing his personal life. Like, you ain't embarrassed to share with us all the things that you did? You see, for the individual who thinks in this manner, you're just simply a horse. You're trying to fit in with everybody else in your life. You're trying to fit in with your clique. You're trying to fit in with your posse. I'm one of those people that thinks above the angle of a horse. I'm trying to think like a unicorn. You see, when you see me hustling all day on Facebook, social media, I'm hustling for the Lord. 
And I'm hoping that somebody pays attention, that somebody would give his or her life to God, and that someone would see the energy, that someone would feel the energy, that someone would taste and see that the Lord is good because you have this dummy, this former drug addict, this brother that's got only one leg, that's out here pushing this gospel like a crack dealer on the corner pushing dope. I hope that somebody would see that this brother for real, like, man, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, none of my horse friends have given me a platform. None of my friends who are a horse will say, come and preach at our church or come and let us uh, give you a platform and, and help you to hone your craft or to perhaps give you an idea of what it would be like to fellowship or to be a part of something in which we are part of. No one is doing that. So what am I going to do? Wait around in the stable like the rest of the horses because nobody wants to give me some hay? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do what I got to do because there's a big world out there. There's a big audience. There are people that need to hear what I have to say. There's people that need to know about my Revelation 12, 11, my testimony, what God has brought me through. And whether or not somebody wants to give me a platform or not, I can create my own. So at the end of the day, when I'm hustling, the gospel message like a drug dealer on the side of the street. When you see me posting my cash app in some of my presentations on Saturday, when you see me and my wife sharing messages, when you see me praying on Facebook, when you see me singing on Facebook, when you see me shedding tears on Facebook, when you see me on social media going hard in the paint like Michael Jordan with the Bulls back in the 90s, it's because I love the Lord. And it's because I am... I am defined by the desire to do great things for one who has done great things for me. I am not a horse. I'm not going to sit around and wait for nobody to give me an opportunity. I'm not a horse. I'm not sitting around in nobody's stable waiting for somebody to say, oh, well, you can come out into the pasture and run around a little bit, exercise your legs, let a little air get into your lungs. Oh, now we got to put you back in the stable in your place. I am not a horse. And that you're not going to tell me how often I can hustle for God, how often I can preach for God, where and when I can preach for God. The beauty of social media, the beauty of uh, YouTube and Facebook is that I can hop on these things whenever I'm ready, whenever the Holy Spirit prompts me, and I can share with you what's on my mind. And I don't have to wait for no pastor to invite me to his church. I don't have to wait for a conference to call upon me. I don't have to wait on no one. I'm see, look at my surroundings. I'm in a hospital and I'm preaching. When you see me out in the streets, I'm in my uniform at work and I'm preaching. When you see me out doing Instacart shopping, I'm preaching. I'm living what I preach. You see, a horse only does certain things when a horse is in a stable. A horse only does certain things perhaps when it's out on the ranch. But when you're a unicorn, you bust through barriers and you do things that ordinary people just can't do. You do things that a horse ain't even going to attempt to do because a horse is confined to his surroundings. I ain't no horse, baby. And so at the end of the day, when I, you see me hustling, when you see me going hard in the paint, when you see me asking for your support, the first thing I'm asking for is your prayers. When you see me asking for your love and your attention, I'm asking for your love and attention, hoping that you would see my fire and that you would get caught on fire as I'm caught on fire and that we would all join hands and unite our efforts in building the kingdom. When, I, when you see me posting a Cash App link in a presentation, I'm saying, well, if I have blessed you, then perhaps maybe you can bless me. But what I am not is a horse. And you don't need to be a horse either. In fact, we are told in the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 15. That is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 15. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. Who is them? Them other horses. Don't walk in their path. Don't be around there waiting for them to give you hay. Don't be sitting around in the stable with these other horses waiting for your opportunity when you can create your opportunity. Do what you got to do. You're a unicorn. Stop sitting around waiting for somebody to open a door for you. 
Stop sitting around waiting for somebody to create a platform for you. Stop sitting around waiting for somebody to drop something out the sky and put in your hands. You go out there and you do what you got to do because that's what unicorns do, right? Unicorns are special. And just know and understand that unicorns are a hated object because those of us who are horses, we don't understand unicorns. We don't see they hustling why they hustling like they do. We don't see their passion and their, and their energy and un don't understand it. We can't get with that. We ain't ready for that. So therefore, we're looking at that unicorn like, what's his problem? What's her problem? Let them think whatever they want to think about you. They're not paying your bills. They didn't die on a cross for you. Let them horses gather in their stable and eat their hay. And you do what unicorns do. Break barriers. You do great things. I want you to remember again, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 15 says, My son or my daughter, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. And what is the reason behind this? Because often when you're trying to fit in, you miss your calling. Often when you're trying to fit in and be a part of the mold that others want to place you in, you, it, does, it no longer is about what God wants you to do. It's about what others expect from you. When your message is a certain way because that's how you make your bread. That's how you get your donations. When you preach the same old dry bone message week in and week out because that's how you get your donations and that's how people send money to you, then you are restricted now to a particular mold. You are fashioned now after a particular sect. You're a horse. Deal with that. But if you want to be a, a unicorn, out of uniform, and you want to do something different, if you want to do something great, be prepared to be hated. Be prepared to be looked at as somebody who's perhaps crazy. Be prepared to be looked at as somebody who don't know what he or she doing. Look, be prepared to be looked at as somebody, oh yeah, he going to fail, she going to fail. They don't know what they're doing. They ain't doing it by the book. Be prepared if you're going to be a unicorn to be talked about. Be prepared if you're going to be a unicorn to be left out. Be prepared if you're a unicorn to be sitting around sometimes scratching your head wondering why them horses don't want you around. Because again, you shine. And them horses can't understand that. Them horses ain't ready for that. And they ain't about to get down with that. So brothers and sisters, let me tell you right now, if you are going to achieve great things and you're going to do great things for God, you better put on your unicorn uniform. You better be ready to hustle and you better be ready to be doing it alone. This is Andre Battles, your friend and fellow sinner, saved by grace and clothed in Christ's righteousness. And I want you to always remember, to do great things, to be great, sometimes requires you to do it by yourself. But you don't never see a pack of unicorns riding around together. But you always see a pack of horses sitting around in a stable. If this message has been a blessing to you, I'm going to ask you to do me a solid and support I Battle Daily Ministries by hitting the share button and be blessed.